In this video, we will be studying about the importance of drainage and sanitation. See, in several houses, for example, in slums, there may not be a proper drainage system to dispose of the sewage or to dispose of the waste water. Now, in such cases, what happens uh, when you see there is a lot of rainfall, you see lot of water logging on the roads you see uh, some you know sewages are leaked back and they give a very foul smell and a black color water all around so that is known as poor drainage system the sewer gets blow uh, blocked and they give back the waste water in a black color form that is black color waste water now see these are you know perfect places for your flies and mosquitoes to breed if there is a problem in the drainage if your sewer, uh, sewage gets blocked these are the perfect place of flies and mosquitoes they can ca uh, cause diseases like uh, yellow fever malaria uh, dengue right now uh, cholera you can say etc and uh, there will be a foul smell or you can say unpleasant smell of this black color water that comes out of this poor drainage system now poor drainage at communal sites such as washing area can also lead to unpleasant and unsanitary condition in some places there are open drains to dispose of the sewage these drains see let's say this is water on the roads that is and this is a sewage system this water goes into the sewage system and it turns contaminated a black color water inside it after that from the sewage long long pipes it is it travels from these long uh, pipes this water travels from these pipes and is disposed of into rivers or open areas open grounds uh, now these drains can easily blocked by plastic bags and can overflow so therefore a problem of smell breeding of mosquitoes flies and germs are encountered in open drains area Untreatedly or inadequately treated sewage is a major source of groundwater and surface water pollution which pollutes the land as well as the water. So it is therefore important to have covered drainage system for disposal of sewage. Now it is very important to have a covered drainage system. for disposal of sewage right now the say is the sewage should be transferred to the treatment works for treatment prior to discharge after treatment see this sewage water or you can say waste water should be treated in order to clean the water water and remove contaminants and then disposed of now after treatment the water can be used for agriculture or allowed to flow into the water bodies however in many areas untreated sewage is allowed to flow directly into the rivers 
Now this is the major risk for the public health. Now contamination of drinking water can happen in covered drains also. So a common reason uh, reason that is damaged leaky joints in water pipe in areas where the water pipes and sewage line pass close together. So it's like uh, the you know the drainage system should be very proper in order to avoid the diseases in order to uh, you know uh, save the public health. So it is very important to have a proper drainage and sanitation system so that the water goes into the sewage after that it goes from the pipes it is treated properly after that then only it is disposed of to the rivers or it can be used in the agriculture when all the contaminated uh, impurities are removed from the water then only we can use the water. I hope you have understood this. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us. If you have any doubt, any problems, you can write me. I can help you out with your problems.